Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to do an oil change uh, on a 2004 Honda Pilot. And I'll show you what you need to get this oil change done. Okay, to get this oil change done, we need 5 quarts of oil. We need a oil filter. So if you can see that pretty good there for the Honda Pilot. That's the little oil filter. I'll show you what it looks like. That right there is an oil filter. Oil filter wrench socket set so we can get the bolt off the oil pan ramps to put the car up right there you're going to put the old oil in let it drain out of the oil pan and i'm going to use this wood to put underneath these ramps because the driveway is kind of new and it may dig in to the blacktop okay so you saw what's needed to get it done and now what i'm going to do is get the car up on the ramps and then i'll turn the camera on while i'm under the car to show you what it looks like, how to get the bolt off, how to take the oil filter off, how to drain it, and so on. Okay, be right back. Okay, we got her up on the ramps, and now I get my tools over there, and I'll bring you under. get under there all right we're under the car I put a uh, blanket down so I'm not laying on the blacktop a little dark under here right now but we're gonna see if we can get you guys to see what's going on right over here I can bring you over you can see this is where the oil is gonna come out so we're gonna get a wrench uh, probably gonna use a socket actually and we'll take off this and we'll let it drain down into this pan Okay, this happens to be a 19 millimeter. I'm gonna loosen the bolt. Be careful if your engine's hot. Also, make sure your car is off. That would help. Unscrew it. Let the catch pan fill up. If you, if you like to be clean, this ain't for you. Here, a little oily. Draining it down now, and then we'll pull a filter. Still draining. You hear it. That's the old oil. Now, once you've drained it enough, you can put the oil plug back in. Just screw it in loose for now, so nothing drips on you while you take the filter out. Wipe it so it don't drip on me. You take your filter wrench, put it on your socket. See that? And I'll show you where the filter is. You see that white filter right there? We're gonna loosen that now, take it down. I'm gonna move the camera because I don't want any oil on it. Make sure you move your catch pan because you're gonna lose some oil. Okay, give it a little turn and the rest you can do by hand. gonna leak get some old oil out of it all the oil out of the filter put that filter on the side let that drain for a couple minutes and we'll check the plug one more time okay get some more oil out after you drain it enough put the bolt back in the oil pan tighten it back down Wipe the old oil off of everything. It tends to get on the cross member on this vehicle. Don't check it, don't over tighten it. Just snug it up. A lot of oil pans are aluminum and you don't want to strip it. And this car, kind of a little stripped already from the previous owner. And you don't want to have to buy a new oil pan, so be careful. Okay, so now we're going to uh, take care of the filter. This is the filter that's going back, same size, just a different color. And what I usually do is I pour oil in it and I prime it. It's called priming. Uh, that way when you start the motor, it gets oil right away. If you don't do that, it takes a couple of seconds for the oil to get through the filter. And you could damage your motor uh, by not priming the filter. That's why I like to do it myself. I don't trust the gas stations. Not to say that they'll do it wrong, but I just feel safer doing it myself. So here we go. Let it soak into the filter and add a little more. 
once you have enough in there take your finger wipe it around this rubber gasket that way it doesn't bind up when you put it on it helps it go on smooth okay back under the car and we're gonna screw the filter up there and usually what I'll do is tighten it on by hand as tight as I can get it. And then I'll go a quarter turn with the wrench because you don't want it too tight. It's not good to be too tight. You'll never get it off next time you change your oil. Okay. And I'll just wipe everything down. And then we'll go up top, put oil back in it. Nice fresh oil. Throw away the old filter. I usually put it back in the original box and throw it away. Now up here on top of the engine you'll see right here that's where you put the oil in so i'm gonna take this off and go get a funnel be right back okay so you put your funnel right there and we're gonna pour the oil in this car takes five quarts so got a five quart container when you're done put your cap back on oil change is done and what i'll do now is I'll take this old oil and I'll pour it into the original new container so I can go and recycle it at the local gas station. Here we go. What you want to do when you're done is check your oil and make sure it's full. Let's see if you can see that. But it should be between the two dots on the dipstick kind of hard to see right now let me see she's good put it back okay so now we'll do a little cleanup and uh get her off the ramps and that's it doesn't really take uh too much to change your oil as long as you got the right tools when you're done cleaning up check for leak see if you see anything under there and that's it Looks good to me. Another job well done. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned a little something. I know it was an easy one. Well, for me anyway. Uh, I'm not sure if you go get your oil changed. Or you do it yourself. Either way, you should do it every 3,000 miles. Some new cars, 5,000 miles. Okay, guys, that's it for today's project. That was an oil change on a 2004 Honda Pilot. Pretty much the same for any car. You know, as long as you got the ramps, some tools, get your oil, your filter. You can do it yourself be that diy guy all right guys i was thinking maybe at the end of every video we do a little something called maybe a little segment called what's in your garage maybe a tool maybe something odd one item every time i make a video you know maybe we can compare what we got all right here we go all right guys so for today's video on what's in your garage is this rack i made to hold all my clamps and pipe wrenches As you can see those are pipe wrenches. We got some clamps there. Just a quick idea. Some way to put your clamp. Simple. Made out of two by fours. You got any ideas? Let me know. Maybe I'll uh, do something with your idea in my garage. All right. Till next time. Take care. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Blooper. Blooper.